this video quality is going to be bad because it is dark in my truck. I just thought it would be a good time to introduce you to King Tundra. Um, I normally don't drive it much, especially in the upstate New York winter months because truck 2011. I bought it down south because, you know, if you live down south, you don't use road salt, you don't see winters. So the truck is immaculate, other than a dent that I put in the passenger side rear door, which you'll see in some pictures that I posted at the beginning of this video. But um, it's got a three inch lift. It's got 20 by 12 fuel rims with a zero offset, which gives it about three inches of poke. Um, 33 by 1250, 20 mud claw, mud tires. Uh, 10 ply of course I the truck is the base model Tundra it's a 4.6 sue me automatic with tow haul and sport shift um, console shifter whatever it's about the only thing about the truck that I don't like is the uh, or I'm sorry column shifter it's about the only thing I don't like about the truck is it does not have the console shifter but I was willing to live with that, with the condition of the truck and the deal I got on it. Um, I did a Volant cool air intake and I built my own exhaust using a dual in single out glass pack, which is a real thing by the way. And I did have to special order it, but it worked perfect for the Tundra. It was the exact same length as the factory muffler. So I didn't have to add any pipe. I just cut it out, slipped it on, welded it in and it sounds good. Um, I thought this would be a good time to videotape because I live in Peru, New York, which is about 15 minutes from south of Plattsburgh, and I work in Williston, Vermont. It is a about a 60 mile commute, hour and a half trip one way which is why I don't drive my truck very much, and it's why I can have a car that can be driven on nice days in the summer, such as my Camaro. Because I have a old, we call it the Ghetto Blaster. It's an old beat up 2000 Subaru Forester that my boss had given to me, and he pays the registration, the insurance on it, and I drive it back and forth to work. It was part of the employment deal. Um, I've been at this job about six years now. Um, I've watched the business grow with him. We started out in a small repair shop where the lifts were so close together we were doing a brake jobs and our backs were touching. Now we're in a much larger shop. Um, it's a beautiful shop. It was originally set up to be a custom car hot rod shop so it's very well finished, very clean, painted floors. It's nice. Um, now what we do is we have contract with three or four small car dealerships. You know, the guys who when you go to the dealer to trade in your car that um, the dealership doesn't want to keep and they say, oh, we're, we're going to have to wholesale it out so I have to call my wholesaler. Well, the guys that I work for are the guys that either make or break your deal. You know what I'm saying? But that being said... I work on a lot of cars. Last year, I worked on 900 cars by myself. Those are the cars that I physically touched according to our invoice system at work. So we're a very, very high volume shop. We don't have a slow time. We deal with anything from dealer trade-ins to repossessions to um, auction vehicles. Some are great, some are nice cars. Some are total shit boxes, part of my language. I'll try to bleep that out in the editing. Um, yeah, editing. Um, so, yeah, basically if it's a turd, if it's rotten, if it needs a lot more work, then the car's worth to make a profit on the vehicle. We make the call to stuff it back through an auction or they'll wholesale it out to a different wholesaler to get rid of it. Um, it's a lot of work, but the money's decent. 
But I'm getting off topic. You don't want to hear about my life. I actually have no viewers, so I'm basically talking to myself. But I'm hoping that that'll change in the future. Um, as I said, my truck has a zero offset. The wheels poke about three to four inches out the side of the truck. I like the look of it. I love the look of it. But um, with the 33s and the three inch lift, I do have a little bit of a rubbing issue at full steering lock in the front. Um, the tires barely touch my mud flaps. So that's part of the reason that I dug the truck out of the garage today and I am getting it covered in road salt and brine and everything else. You might notice everything is all like flopping around a little bit. Like this. I forgot to mention. Part of my commute every day is I have to cross a ferry. Um, a lot of people don't know what a ferry is. Um, it's a boat that you drive onto. It crosses the lake. Um, it's the quickest route for me to get from upstate New York where I live to Vermont. And yes, you do have to pay to cross it, which is ridiculous. But luckily, luckily, my boss reimburses me for the cost of the ferry. But I'm getting off topic again. Um, wheels poke out three inches to the side of the truck, blah, blah, blah. New York's got a bunch of bullshit laws, as well as, you know, Vermont's got the same ones because they're sister states. Um, I got pulled over the other day. And I wasn't in a good mood, so it didn't go as smoothly as it should have. But um, long story short, I got a ticket because my tires protrude the side of my truck too much. Yep. So, that being said, I just ordered a set of uh, Bushwhacker pocket style, riveted style fender flares, which... I'm not a big fan of fender flares, especially in upstate New York where there's road salt and stuff like that, that tends to get into everything. And it's just another thing to hold dirt and grime, salt, cause rust. Um, it sits, it gets in there behind the fender flares and it just eats at the side of the truck. It's awful. Um, there's a lot of things out there that they make like fluid film undercoating is excellent I've hit this truck every year since I've had it and the frame is still spotless so I can't really complain about that oh my god I'm sorry um I was just watching some people be stupid. It's astonishing how some people have lived so long and how dumb they are. They just don't get it. So those fender flares will be here in a week. Um, they come black. I'm not going to put them on black. I'm going to paint them. I'm going to color match them to the truck. The rivets that come in them come chrome probably going to take the time to paint those black because I'm not a huge fan of chrome like I said this was the base model truck so it's got chrome bumpers and it had a chrome grill well I can live with the chrome bumpers I think they add some contrast to the truck but I did swap the chrome grill out for a painted rock warrior grill looks much better um the reason I went with this year truck the reason I bought a used truck, um, I couldn't justify spending almost 60 grand on a new Tundra that I wanted. Um, I don't like the old Tundras as far as like, the newest ones I like are like a 07 and up when I, the way I word it is when they got good. But from 07 to 09, they had kind of a goofy looking grill and a lot of people don't notice it, but like I said, I work on a lot of vehicles, I notice stuff. The grill sticks out 
past the front of the truck pretty far. 2010, 2011, 2012, they slimmed it up so it sits flush, which is the style that this truck has. This is the body style that I wanted. I'm not a huge fan of the brand new trucks. So that's why I ended up with what I ended up with. I got, like I said, I got it down south. It's got high mileage. It's got 150K on it, but you'd never know it. Um, the only problem I've had with it is the valve covers leaked. So I took two hours of my life and I pulled the valve covers out. I put Toyota gaskets back in it, put it all back together, and the truck's been great. The only thing I've had to do to it is things that I've wanted. I changed the oil every 3,000 miles. I keep my diff serviced keep my tranny serviced you don't have a problem a Toyota Tundra will go half a million miles or better as long as you maintain it and I mean I use it when I drive it I use it um I didn't put a lift kit and big mud tires on it to drive to the mall you know I take it out play in the woods that's how I put the dent in the passenger side rear door which you'll see um other than that I'm gonna continue my commute. I have to get off the ferry quite soon. I probably bored you enough today. So, that being said, I'll let you go. Um, I promise I will get better at this. So, you know, it'd be great. Like, subscribe. I did place the order for the exhaust, for the SS last weekend Sunday I believe I think it was Sunday I ordered it um, that should be here in the next couple days I hope lately my UPS guy has been dropping stuff off at my neighbor's house which I have a huge sign on the end of my driveway hanging off my mailbox that says my name my address and it actually has a side note on the sign that says please put all deliveries in the garage for John Goodrow and they still send it to the neighbors hmm so I think it might have something to do with that comment I made before about how do you make it so far in life being clueless but anyway check for that I'm going to do an unboxing I'm gonna try if the weather gets nice to introduce you to the Camaro. Like I said, I put pictures of the Tundra at the beginning of the video. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys, have a good day. I'm gonna go get greasy and fix some cars.